professional footballers on the surface a life of glitz and glam but the sacrifices made along the way is what shapes those players the journey to becoming a pro can take a player to any chosen shores departing from norway the destination edinburgh leaving behind family friends and loved ones this documentary covers two norwegian players friends really we will discover their journey their sacrifices and ultimately their story. My name is Elias Malkishen. I'm 19 years old, playing as a striker for Hibernian FC. Elias signed for Hibs from Norwegian side Buda Glimt in January 2022. Coming to Edinburgh has been a steep learning curve so far for the youngster. Yeah, in Norway it's like you can't have uh, grass pitches because of the weather. So we're used to uh, not so bouncy balls and uh, the play is fast. And But uh, I knew that when I came over here I needed to adapt to the grass and to everything. So I knew that uh, it needed to take some time. But uh, I was patient and when I got my chance I took it. And boy, did Elias take that chance. Against McGinley, it's the better of him as well. And therefore, and he puts it across, and in goes the goal. And Melkis in on his first start, scores a huge goal for Hibernian, who lead this cup quarter final. Yeah, Melkis is in again. And he scores again. And Hibs edge ever closer to the semis. It was amazing. Uh, I always want to score when I'm on the pitch and that was just a special day for me and uh, everyone. On this journey, Elias had the full support of his family back home in Norway. It means everything. It's like uh, you know that you have someone in your back all the time and uh, that's uh, all you got to think about. And uh, when you have them behind your back, you can do everything. Hello, I'm uh, Daniel Melkers and I'm uh, Elias' father. Elias Melkishen's father. Well, he moved when he was 15, and we didn't know he was going to move. Just he, he I just got an uh, email from uh, from the school saying that he had applied for the school in in Buda, and uh, and the club had uh, um, encouraged him to 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 move. So I just got an email, and um, and my wife was uh, not so happy with me because she she thought that I was behind the whole thing. But uh, it wasn't like that at all. It's uh, abroad, and uh, I always wanted to play abroad from when I was a little kid. And uh, I think Scottish football suits my playing style very well. I think uh, Edinburgh is a nice city as well. So everything suited me. So, uh, so it's, it, it all started, or it began with him refusing to, to join us for summer holidays because there, there are no football pitches. So I had to make an agreement with him that I had to put him on a ferry and a friend of mine had to be on the docks on the other side to, to collect him and bring him to a training ground where he, where he could train with a local club. That was the only way I could get him to, to join the family. Uh, I think he was yeah, maybe 14 years old. Uh, they had played uh, Rosenborg, uh, the academy in a um, Norwegian Cup game, and they lost with, I think it was one goal, and they actually should have won the game. And um, the very next morning, I I, I stood up and uh, was preparing to to get to work, and then I just beside the coffee machine was a note. I'm on the pitch. And it was like 7 a.m. And that's that's how it is. It's always uh, uh, striving to, to improve uh, his as aspects of the game as a striker. And uh, uh, it's, as you say, it's very self-driven, very self-driven. Elias wasn't the only Norwegian addition to the Hub squad in January. Hi, my name is Runar Hauge. I'm 20 years old and I'm a winger who plays for Hibernian FC. Runar joined Hibernian very soon after Elias came to Edinburgh. 
it was fast. I, I was in Spain with my old club, uh, Bodo Glimt, for it was not training camp. I got a phone and they said the Hibernian was interested. Four days later, I was on the plane to, to Scotland and Edinburgh. Well, I started to play there when I was 12 years old and uh, when I was 15, I started training with the first team. So I got my debut at, when I just turned 16. So I was really, uh, they helped me along the way and gave me chances. So I'm really uh, thankful for that. Uh, in the end, I didn't quite take the steps I needed to, to break into the first team and play yeah, in the starting 11. So it was time to, to try something new. Uh, but I... Uh, I don't have any hard feelings. Uh, I am very pleased with the way they are, yeah, they are playing and how they are performing in now in Europe. It's it's great. So I just wish them all the best. I mean, he came probably about two weeks after myself. So uh, he started off probably about a week with the development squad, and then you know he, he applied his trade, showed how good he was, and you know so there were some injuries that came about as well, and he found himself on the bench, and then he's been. A little bit similar to me, been with the first team since. It has been hard. Uh, I lived away two times uh, previously, the two last years, but still I was only at loan, so I knew always I would come back to Bodeglimt and to my, my uh, house and my family. But now I, I will be here for some some years and it's uh, it's hard, of course. I, I miss them, but yeah, I just have to make new friends, uh, make new uh, yeah, habits and and just yeah do what you can to, to f be happy along the way. He's quite an um, introvert in terms of he can be, you know, like an introvert. He's quite, he can be quite self-sufficient, he can be quite quiet. But then when you're around him as a, as a guy in the changing room, you know, he's quite, he's quite a funny guy. And, you know, you, I'll get on really well with him as well. You know, me and him really had sort of that bond since we, we uh, you know, joined Hibs at the same sort of time. And obviously both being from outside of Edinburgh and Scotland, we're both new to the culture. And The group of young players all joined Hibs at a similar time. It's crucial that they are integrated into the squad and made to feel welcome. Yeah, I feel uh, they, they know that you're trying your best and if you lose the ball in training, they don't complain, they don't uh, yell at you, they just said keep going and that's important for young players because maybe I'm not, uh, I don't score the goal uh, in one training but I have to keep on going and try the same things the next day and that's uh, very important for young players. No, they have always pushed me and uh, in the right directions and they have also been patient with me. And uh, I appreciate that a lot. So it's been very good. It's been very well taken care of by the club, and I, uh, I I'm really uh, amazed how everything around the club, the the, the people, the staff, uh, it's like a big family. And uh, so I'm I'm very satisfied, and uh, uh, yeah. Uh, very happy for him and he's at a good in a, in a good place now so it's perfect Leaving behind Norway for Scotland has meant both Elias and Runar have had to take a huge leap into the unknown Norwegian football is developing and at a good rate but players have to move abroad to further their careers at a very young age Well it's, it's uh, to, to those uh, you mentioned Holland and Odegaard it's just unreal because they are playing on such a high level and some years ago, they was in the yeah we was um, maybe at the same level, like uh, they played the Little Serien as well. So it's fun to see that if you do the right things, you can take the right steps, and then you will progress. So they are a huge uh, inspiration for us, so, uh, who is a bit younger than them. You know, I've seen players before that have come over, and you know, it just cause it hasn't really kicked off because they're quite shy, or you know, they're just not used to the football. Like I know sometimes in other countries. Um, the football can be a lot less physical compared to England and Scotland. And, you know, it's a bit more of a shock. But I think, you know, Elias and Maroon, I came in and was just, you know, it's like they'd always been here. I mean, I'll probably say Maroon, quite a physical player as it is. So he, he got on really well, you know, straight away. And with the, you know, you could see when he first started training with the development squad, he was, he was quite, you know, he's a level physically. Above. I know he's older than a few, most of the boys um, as well. And then when he... He went into the first team, you know, held his, held his own, you know, trained well. And then Elias obviously came in, um, scored twice as well. Um, but in training, you know, he, they both fitted in really well, which is really pleasing to see. Training the fjords of Norway for a new life in Edinburgh is clearly a tough process. And there's one that the pair have had to adjust to. The signings of Elias and Runar are with one eye on the future for Hibernian. They will take time to adapt to Scottish football, but the talent 
that has been shown so early in their careers should be a cause for hope for the Hibs faithful. Thank you.